Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for RRB Nursing Officer exam. Also, MHXRB Telangana Nursing Officer exam is on 17th November. So, these questions will be helpful for your exam preparation. First question we can see a child with recurrent upper respiratory infection which complication may be seen options option a meningitis option b acute otitis media option c rds that is respiratory distress syndrome option d mouth ulcer our question is which complication can seen in a child with frequent upper respiratory tract infection and the correct answer is it is otitis media option b is the correct answer Viral upper respiratory infection leads to eustachian tube inflammation. Inflammation of the eustachian tube causes otitis media. So the virus and pathogenic bacteria that colonize the nasopharynx. Nasopharynx is upper respiratory part. Okay. Nasopharynx enter into the middle ear via eustachian tube. So the bacteria and virus enters into the middle ear which may cause otitis media. Move on to the next question. Neurogenic shock is also known as options. Option A, defective shock. Option B, distributive shock. Option C, destructive shock. Option D, none of the above. Neurogenic shock is mainly occurs due to injury to the central nervous system, especially brain and spinal cord. So, this neurogenic shock is also known as distributive shock. Option B is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Which type of stools is seen in gastric bleeding? Options. Option A. Tarry color. Option B. Bright red color. Option C. Coffee god stool. Option D. Bilious color stool. Question. The type of stool which is seen in gastric bleeding is tarry color. Option A is the correct answer. Here we can see the color of stool in upper and lower GI bleeding. In case of upper GI bleeding or gastric bleeding. Okay, here the question is gastric bleeding. Or suppose question will come like upper GI bleeding. And the color of stool is black or tarry color. Okay, it is also known as melina. So the GI bleeding, upper GI bleeding or gastric bleeding, the color of stool is black or tarry color. And the color of stool in lower GI bleeding, Especially intestine and rectum. The color is bright or fresh red stool. Okay, bright red color or fresh red color. Okay, it is also known as hematosia. Move on to the next question. Subacute sclerosing, panencephalitis is seen in which of the following communicable disease? Options. Option A. Measles. Option B. Rubella. Option C. Mums. Option D. Chicken box. S. S. P. E. Subacute sclerosing panencephalitis is seen in which communicable disease? That is the question. It is seen in case of measles. Option A is the correct answer. Encephalitis is a complication of measles. It may be SSP. SSP means subacute sclerosing panencephalitis or maybe meningoencephalitis. And this illness is a late complication of measles infection, usually developing about 5 years after the child had measles infection. On to the next question. Incubation period of measles is options. Option A 7 days, option B 10 days, option C 15 days, option D 45 days. Measles is a type of communicable disease which is caused by paramyxovirus. It is a type of RNA virus and the incubation period is 10 to 14 days. So here 10 days is a, there. So, so that is the correct answer option B. On to the next question. Nurse will advise the mother to isolate the child with measles for options. Option A 3 days, option B 5 days, option C 7 days, option D 9 days. Usually, the period of communicability approximately 4 days before and 4 days after the one set of appearance of rashes. So, here the correct answer will come 7 days. Okay. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Type of genetic code of HIV is options. Option A, SSRNA. Option B, SSDNA. Option C, DSRNA. Option D, DSDNA. The genetic code of human immunodeficiency virus is SSRNA option. A is the correct answer. The genetic code of HIV consists of two single-stranded RNA. 
move on to the next question what is the root value of long thoracic nerve options option a c3 to c5 option b c5 6 c7 option c c7 c8 to t1 option d c2 c3 and c4 the long thoracic nerve goes up to or the root value of long thoracic nerve is c5 to c7 that is c5 c6 and c7 it is up to c5 to c7 option b is the correct answer First option, phrenic nerve is goes up to C3 to C5. Okay. Move on to the next question. Normal urine output in an adult 24 hours is. Options. Option A, 500 cc. Option B, 1500 cc. Option C, 3000 cc. Option D, 2500 cc. Here the options are in cc, cc. 1 cc is equal to 1 ml. So, the normal urine output in an adult in whole one day or 24 hours is 1500 cc option b is the correct answer and the next question which is which is a longest bone in the human body options option a femur option b humerus option c tibia option d fibula the longest strongest and heaviest bone of the human body is femur option a is the correct answer Move on to the next question. Which route preferred for second dose of DPT? Options. Option A. Vastus lateralis. Option B. Deltoid. Option C. Gluteal. Option D. Lateralis femoris. Our question is the preferred route for DPT vaccination. DPT is diphtheria, pertussis and tetanus. Here the correct answer is it is Vastus lateralis. Option A is the correct answer. And this DPT vaccine is a type of killed vaccine okay and its root is im and the dose is 0.5 ml here which site it is given that is important for infant and anterior lateral aspect of the mid thigh in vastus lateralis okay for infant and in case of children and adult it is given in upper and outer quadrant of the gluteal muscles so here we are discussing important questions for exam preparation. If it is useful for your studies, please share my videos to your friend circle. From coming videos, I will include more questions.